Yes, welcome back to Off The Boot. Now to one of our real feel-good stories for 2013. Our cameras headed out to Beverly to catch up with two brothers who've done some great work in that area. Football clubs are more than bricks and mortar, more than those who pull on a jumper and take the field. What truly defines a footy club is its heart and soul. For a shining example of this, look no further than brothers Michael and Jeremy Barrett Leonard. Without being cliched, I think they're the fabric that holds the club together. They're, um, you know, without them, the club wouldn't exist. Born with spinal muscular atrophy, these two young men have had to overcome adversities most of us could never imagine. They need help pretty much with absolutely everything. They've got no strength in their arms or legs, so um, yeah, they need um, pretty much care, or, yeah, 100% care, really. care. But fortunately, they can use a computer really well, or a, or a mouse, or their phones. You know, that got that little area. Yeah, well, I think that's made it easier with them, you know, growing up with uh, two boys, you know, with that condition because they've always had a positive attitude and, you know, if you've got a positive attitude, it makes it easy for everyone then, you know. Though it was their passion for football that set the wheels of volunteering in motion. Yeah, I've grown up, uh, you know, watching and loving, loving footy since, you know, since we were kids, really. Uh. I was probably the, uh, the odd one out in the family in that uh, everyone else is each around or supporters. Yeah, he just grew up just loving footy. I mean, uh, yeah, I was, I suppose, I suppose really back then, yeah, it was, um, you know, watching the waffle footy on TV, that sort of got, got you into it. And I was a massive shark supporter and, you know, I followed Bomber Pete going up and, and then, yeah, it's just, I guess that flows on to, you know, you're just being involved in Beverly and, you know, come, yeah, just ha having the family environment and, yeah. You go down to the pub and all the blokes that aren't playing resis and, um, you know, they're the sort of blokes that come and, come and play each week and you ask them why they play and they said, you know, I don't want to let Jez down and um, I don't want to let the boys down. They just mean the world to everyone and, and it's the whole community as well. And even like country footy as a whole, you, you see blokes at, at country footy and they all know Mick and Jez and they're just, they're just everywhere. They go to all the waffle games, all the country footy games and they're, uh, yeah, they're just absolutely inspirational. He said they uh, wanted a new treasurer for the club and uh, uh, asked me whether I'd be uh, up for doing it. Um, I've studied accounting at uni, so he uh, thought he'd uh, get on to me uh, as far as that goes. And yeah, so I, I put my hand up and uh, you now I've been doing it for 11 years. So. While humble about their own achievements, both are essential to the Redbacks' success on and off the field. Well, they just do everything for the club and um, you see other clubs that struggle to get the volunteers and then you look at how much work these two do and I just honestly think, I don't think we'd have a resis team to start off with and um, you know at the moment it's a team that competes and without those two the, we wouldn't have a team to be honest and if we did they'd just be hopeless and um, they just really help create the culture here and um, you know it's a really good culture to be around so definitely wouldn't have a team without them. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just keep trying to uh, fly the flag for the club and try and get blokes back out here and um, hope they enjoy their time while they're here. I wouldn't uh, you know, explain them any differently. They're just two boys that just love having a beer and love the footy and um, you know, love having a good time with all their mates and you know, they just happen to help out the club immensely and um, I can't see anything different to any other blokes really, but they um, obviously their circumstances, but um, they just overcome adversities and you know, push through and, um, yeah, they're just inspiration to everyone. Words like hero and legend are bandied around freely these days, even becoming part of our sporting vocabulary. But if ever these monikers can be justly placed, it's here. For Jeremy and Mick, you're not just legends, but an inspiration to us all. How proud of the boys are you now? Very proud, yes. <laughs> Dead? Yeah, no, I couldn't be proud. Yes, there's a term in footy called taking the game on. Well, those Beverly brothers, Jeremy and Michael, are taking life on. And fantastic story and just due recognition for what they do at Beverly. And
Carl, you've obviously met the boys some time ago. Big Eagles fans, but gee whiz, haven't they made an impact at that oh, footy club? It's just sensational, isn't it? Uh, just to see the impact that they've had, obviously, on other people, but uh, for themselves to stay so positive and, uh, and keep going and doing something that they love is great to see. And guys, just want to say thanks very much to Scotty Minchin and the Beverly Football Club for all their help with that story. It was fantastic. They do a great job uh, for the family aspect of uh, teams in country footy. And Jeremy, of course, uh, a reserves coach as well at one point. So, look, they're doing it all at that footy club and you can see they're just loved uh, universally uh, down in Beverly. By the way, Facebook, we want your feedback. Any great stories like that, jump on, give us your feedback and uh, off the boot at winwa.com.au is where you can contact us. Stay with us. Plenty more to come. You're watching Off the Boot on the Win Network.